Hello. Well, I've decided that it's fun to upload videos to YouTube. So, I'm going to show you another song for anyone who is possibly interested. Uh, Ricky Don't Lose That Number by Steely Dan. Uh, I'll teach you the whole song except for the guitar solo. I'll show the chords behind it. If uh, someone wants the guitar solo, uh, just comment and I will figure it out and upload another video. So anyway, I'm a Steely Dan kick if you can't tell. So this is the last, it's not the last one, but the last video was also about a Steely Dan song. Maybe one day I'll stop listening to them and show something else, but probably not. So the first, let's just start at the beginning. Uh, it does that weird kind of, uh, I don't know what drums he's using, what percussion he's using, but it does that for 20 seconds. And then right as it comes in around 23 seconds, it's, doing that over what would actually be an E9 chord, uh, but basically it's just you want the bass line, and it's a bass line, and a bass line on the piano holding it, it's Donald Fagan holding it, so it's just, you're going to hit your open low E, and then go down to the uh, A string on the second fret, and it's... just holds that down throughout the entirety of the intro and it's uh then it's gonna do this lick and what that is is you're gonna go to the seventh fret it just double stops the whole way down seventh fret on your G string and your B string okay and just hit just plug it twice and then you're gonna slide down to the Sixth fret on the on the G string and the fifth fret on the B string. Then slide that down to the fourth fret and the third fret. Fourth fret G string, third fret B string, and then go to the second fret on both the G and the B, and then slide it back up. So it's. goes back to that 4th fret on the G string and 3rd fret on the B string. So. so for the verse, it's pretty simple. You get a, a D sus2, which is a D, plain old D chord, but you're leaving your E string open. And then you have an A sus2, which is a regular A chord but lift, but basically leave the B string open. And then you're gonna go to an E major. And what you're going to do there, and I actually cannot remember the name of this chord for the life of me, but uh, all you're going to do at the end of that E chord, E major, is put your pinky down on the fourth fret on the D string. Really pretty chord, so it's the second part of the verse it's so what he's doing there it's just a very very subtle piano lick uh, but he's going to a C sharp major and then down to a B major and just make your normal major bar chord uh, and you're just gonna pluck the A string, the D string, then the B string, then back to the G string. I think the old uh, NBC sound, I don't know if anyone remembers that or if NBC still makes that sound on the channel, but it, it's just a major chord. So, so the first two times through the verse, this is what it's gonna sound like. We hear you're leaving, that's okay I thought a little wild time had just begun and then, 
So then it does this again. <laughs> That's when it switches, and it goes to an F sharp minor seven, and then it goes back to that A sus two, and then it does this funky guitar lick. So, what what he's doing? Uh, it's just your, your regular chord progression at the beginning of the verse. And F, F, F sharp minor 7 is just bar the 2nd fret completely all 6 strings and then put your ring finger down on the 4th fret on the A string which is a C sharp note. And then A sus 2. And then the crazy funky guitar, piano, everyone does this lick in the song. Uh, it's it's going to go, it's going to start at your A string and finish on the G string, but it's going to go all the way down to the B string at one point. So it sounds like this. So that's slow motion, but you have the second fret B string, fourth fret D string. Sorry, explaining it slow, I have to play it again. And then you have the first fret on the G string, second fret on the G string, 3rd fret on the B string, 1st fret on the G string, 2nd fret on the G string, and then the 2nd fret on the D string. So played slowly. And up to speed. Uh, really cool song. So that's what the verse sounds like. Verses are going to do that, and the chorus is going to be it, it sounds like this. So the chords for that, uh, the first thing is an E9, but he's actually uh, taking out what would be the G sharp or A flat note, which would be on the uh, sixth fret of the D string. So you just don't, he's taking it out, it's not in there. Uh, basically all you have to know is seventh fret, e, the seventh fret A string, which is E note. And then uh, you have the seventh fret on the G string and seventh fret on the B string, and the rest are muted. And you could you could ride the E string though. That's what I do. And then uh, it's gonna go to a G major seven. Which is a third fret low E, a fourth fret on the D string, and you're gonna mute the A string. Uh, then you have the 4th fret on the G string, and then the 3rd fret on the B string. And then, uh, I was making it this way, but I'll just, it's just a regular, uh, it'd be A7. A so, bar the 5th fret, and then put your uh, ring finger on the 7th fret on the A string, and then your middle finger on the 6th fret on the G string. And then you're going to slide that exact shape down two frets to G, G7, and then it's going to go back to that D sus2. And then it's going to go C, E minor, C, and then really quick, D sus2. 
us to, pace us to. Goes back to the beginning. So uh, anyway, the the chords that are behind the guitar solo are D sus two, A sus two, E. Adding that D sus two, A sus two, and then goes to G. Holds that out for a couple measures, and then it's gonna go to F major seven. And then it's going to go to G6, which is a, so, ring finger on the 5th fret of the A string, pinky on the 5th fret of the D string, then you have your middle finger on the 4th fret of the G string, your index finger on the 3rd fret of the B string, and then an open E. And then back to the F major 7. Back to E. Then D, sus2, A sus2, E major. And that's the that's the entire guitar solo. And then it's gonna go into the bridge. And it's like, so it's gonna be an A major seven, so think of that G major seven shape from earlier, move it to A. So A major seven, then a flat minor seven which is index finger on an A flat slash G sharp and then you have a your middle finger would be on the fourth fret on the D string your ring finger would be on the fourth fret on the G and then your pinky fourth fret on the B back to A major 7 and uh, that would be a C sharp minor 7 so you could do this so think our uh, think of the the sevens we made during the uh, during the chorus and move them down to the fourth fret on the A string and bar from there and then so that that's that and then it goes back to basically what would be the end of the verse that F F sharp minor seven that A sus two. So the bridge sounds like this. You tell yourself you're not my kind. You don't even know your mind. But you could have a change of heart. Yeah. So that's Ricky, don't lose that number. That's uh, if anyone wants me to figure out the guitar solo, just comment. It's probably not gonna happen, but wouldn't that be cool? Anyway. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helps. Thanks.